represent my family when I'm there. You know, because I'm a member of my family. You see, you know, this, 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 these issues, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I just, I just, I just shamble uh. arguments. Yeah, because we, we had protests all over. It's a, this country <laughs> was driven to, the, to, the, to, 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 to democracy through protests right. uh, and, and defiance. Uh -huh. This was what, what, what bore fruit for this country. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no. And this, this is the motive arguments that uh, why didn't you bring your family there? When I'm there, even the, uh, our families worry as much as <coughs> other people have their family members there. So everybody goes there knowing that they represent a certain value system or a certain uh, uh, issue. Mm -hmm. And you're not, you're not, you, nobody coerces you to come for these demonstrations. You come on your own free will. If you, if you, if you, if you do not want to, to come, you're at liberty to stay away. Mm -hmm. These demonstrations are accept to attract those people who come on their own free will on the basis of a certain issue that we are trying to articulate. But the truth is, I've heard Margaret, uh, I think she spoke uh, uh, with, with, a lot, with a lot of uh, seriousness and a lot of emotion, I could feel it in her voice, and uh, I can assure her that this country will not return to the violence of post-2007-2008. Mm -hmm. uh, these are legitimate political uh, uh, interventions. Now, one needs to, to sometimes uh, put into mechanisms so as to bear pressure to, to, to achieve certain ends of reforms. And here we are talking about reforming the IBC in particular, because after all, we had a similar referendum issue within the Okoa Kenya uh, bill, which will have, I think, fundamentally dealt with the issue of the, I of the IBC. So for me, I, 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 I sympathize, I, I know that there are general concerns, but I want to also reassure that uh, Cord or nobody in his right mind is thinking about bringing this country to the brink of 207 to 8. Mm -hmm. And that, that you, can, you can take to the bank. Okay. Uh, secondly, we have uh, Kamau and Kamau Hashim. Uh, Hashim Kamau and Hashim fact, I, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know what Hashim is talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, the, the voice of Hashim, if I know it is the Hashim, it sounds like the Hashim I know. Uh, I want to tell him one thing. I know that a lot of people have, have raised concern. I think there is no day that code sets out its demonstrators to to, to go and destroy anybody's properties, uh -huh. to loot from anyone. Yeah? So if there's any person who commits these crimes of looting or destruction of property, those the police must handle because the police also have a responsibility to ensure not only the safety and security of the protesters, uh -huh. but also the safety and security of the, of the property and other Kenyans who might be you know, going on their own daily businesses as usual. Uh -huh. So for, for the police, they have a, a duty and obligation both ends. So if there's somebody stealing anybody's property, that is not a court demonstrator. Court demonstrators, uh, their focus is only one, to remove IBC from office or to bear pressure in terms of removal of IBC from office. So anybody, anybody who's caught in the in, in, the in between has therefore uh, uh, of looting or, or destruction of property must be dealt with with the law. And my last one, let me tell you, I, this is a very difficult time for me also as a former commissioner who knows what commissions uh, have stood for and represent, uh -huh. and what commissions that are given the, the afforded the, 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 the preserves of independence can achieve. Uh -huh. We have made commissions vulnerable on both way, from, both, from both designs. William talked about the pressure borne at ESCC. We have made commissions vulnerable from executive design. We have made commissions vulnerable. So anybody today, anywhere, if he is dissatisfied with any commission, uh -huh. can call for its disbus disbandment. So I'm, I'm getting a little concerned that uh, the institutions we worked so hard to put together. Tomorrow, I, today, I, I, I who unto the unto Kenzie Jari if they were to produce a report similar to the one we produced after the after the violence on the brink of the precipice. Yeah. It's just a human rights account. It's not even an investigative or, or a report that discharges criminal responsibility. If today a commission was to do a robust report that annoys the political class, it will definitely be sent out. In fact, a lot of commissioners have been telling me. They, they are feeling that the way the pervasive nature of the political class, particularly the, the ones at the highest apex, is such that commissions might be more and more reluctant to do their job as, as enshrined in the Constitution. So the next thing is somebody will do an, a report a, a year before they leave so that they give you a report and leave. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's the kind of thing. We've made them vulnerable so much so. That's why you see on this matter I've been very, very cautious because I know we have whittled down okay. uh, the, the, what commissions must represent. Yeah. Yes.